Turned into nothing. Yes. Completely vaporized, eviscerated off the face of their planet. Also, this is the species that the space pirates are infusing with Phazon. Now, if I don't scan it, I think I'm good. Log 10, 4444. Initial transfer of Metroids to Talon 4 research facilities have been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase on infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of Phazon on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by Phazon sources. Uh, species suggest a considerable growth in power and size. Whether the creature stays stable thereafter remains to be seen. Do, 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 do. Oh no, did Swag have to go again? Oh no, I missed it. Sorry, Swag. Have a good evening. Uh, Ridley the Dragon, same as Hellraiser the Dragon. And so millions of dollars, okay. Is there any more? Yes. Log 10-8910. The reconstruction of Geoform uh, 187, code name Ridley, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebus, Command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic module and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. I think that's it. It's time to scan it. Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator. The dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. And it breaks free. Now that's not it. Because now we have a space pirate breaking in to check in on the commotion of mine and the Metroid's fight. So just be aware that that is a commotion that you cause. Okay. So Ridley was pretty much completely destroyed and infused together with robotic parts so that he can go faster and fight better. He's got some revenge issues, that's for sure. Yes, he does. He is mad that uh, Samus destroyed him. But on the same token, Samus is mad that he's still alive for killing her parents. And potential brother. Space Pirate Encrypted Data. Log 10 9572. Confidence is high regarding Phazon application. 
We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining it with Space Pirate DNA. That's a terrible idea. The code name for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that Phazon infusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern, but refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental G degeneration. Wow, space pirates are dumb. They're dummies. They should have just stuck with making it bioweapons rather than experimenting on themselves. Now, the reason why I am slowly coming down is because... Damn it. Well, this is not what I wanted. items that I want and I always always forget about this one until I'm trying to navigate it in the dark sounds like there's a dog on the TV just in the room outside my bedroom because my dog is aggressive in the manga he says he can heal by eating flesh, so he ate the people killed in the... What? In the manga, he says he can heal by eating flesh, so he ate the people killed in the attack, including her parents. So he killed and ate her parents. These games are rated E and teen, right? Yes. Yes, these games are rated E for everyone. No, wait, T. These games are rated T for teen. Okay. I'm on... Yeah, see, in the... In the future, pitch blackness of this area, this become slightly harder. Okay. Do do be do ah over here. Log eleven eating parents Nintendo eleven four twenty seven. Metroid Dissection continues to prove more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluid, and yet the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter, as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. It's called a soul, and none of you have one. Space log 11556. Studies of Metroid biology continue. Though with limited progress, it seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could harvest the energy they consume, we would have near limitless source of power at our disposal. 
Okay, so we also have this, which if I go to the super missile, gives me this. And we've got maximum energy increase. I'm just going to keep talking until my family gets my dog to stop barking at every sudden noise. Pirates, you all lost your souls and started shooting the bird people. I mean, they came to this planet after the Trozos became extinct. On this planet, so... I feel like... I maybe missed something. Meta Ridley, Metroid Studies, Phase on in Morphology, Forces. Did I get five logs in this room? Pirate data. Phase on analysis, no. Metroid Studies. Meta Ridley, phase on infusion. Metroid morphology. Metroid forces. Yeah, we got all the scans in this room. Ooh. Ice beetle. You don't think so what, that I got all the pieces? This member of the beetle family has adapted to life in the sub-zero temperatures with the Fendrana Drifts growing a thick ice shell over its entire body. Okay. So there's the um, pirates doing their suicidal bomb attack. Central containment unit. So we won't be able to get the spider ball, but we will get the piece that we're getting here. the thermal visor and get out of the pirate lab. Second barrier. Snipe shot. This should be the third barrier. And there's a white door, which we do not have a weapon to cross through yet. All of these, okay. This is where Metroid Prime goes from being Metroid to being Metroid Prime. Thermal visor acquired. Press minus, then point to the left. So we knew that the scan visor was a prominent feature of Metroid Prime. It really makes this outstanding level. But what makes Metroid Prime even better is that we have the ability to track thermal radiation from space pirates who hide out in dark enclosures. Because this is what you're seeing now. They've shut down their labs. 
You must navigate back out of the lab using this thermal visor. And because they've shut down their lab, that means that all their containment units for the Metroid have also been uh, deteriorated. So now, not only am I dealing with Metroids, or Space Pirates, I'm dealing with the Metroids. A lot of attention to detail. It's not perfect. Like, obviously there should be a lot more red energy to this central console since it's supposed to be a machine. But it is good. I love the attention to the thermal visor. And I wish that they, I hope that they bring it back for Metroid Prime 4. Because they brought back the x-ray visor in 3. And now we have the ability to find conduits and activate them. Security drone. Ice beetle. Security drone. It's highly recommended battling security drones using the wave beam because you can stun them. I wonder why we don't get any news at this time. It is probably because Retro Studios started from scratch and they don't have much news about what they've got so far. They do know that Metroid Prime 4 is still going to be an ongoing series, one that is in the works. Oh, also it should be noted. There it is. Machines do not appear in the thermal visor. These pirates are scared now, they're running from me. I thought I heard another one drop, but I couldn't see where he dropped from. I see that there is supposed to be like a turret system up there. Double jump up. Now I should be at the hallway to the tower. The bombos do still cause visory issues, um, even in the thermal visor, so be aware of that. We are in a clear section. The tower and the outdoors obviously can't be dark because they have natural lighting. Okay. Goodbye. Hear more. There we go. Just blow them all up. Blow them all up. Blow them all up. Boot doo. Blow them all up. 
So if I remember, cr the only downfall of being in the thermal visor is now also more attention to detail. Meta Ridley's theme is the regular theme audio distorted in some parts, making it sound techy. It sounds normal and then mechanical, which I think is similar to Ridley, who's not fully himself anymore and part machine. Nope, they absolutely do that sort of stuff with uh, technical designs. And it's to play off the character's abilities and roles. So I do want to hit the save station. Primarily because we are almost out, but we're still continuing. I know that we're going to be going over time in the stream. You don't worry about that. I'm going to worry about that. We're just getting to... I want to be able to get to Thardis next week. Bam. Bam. There we go. One reason why I love tracking attacks. You can literally aim in a polar opposite direction. Plus this will also give Swag some time to catch up. Oh, you are supposed to use the super missile on the drones. Now we we have done a scan of this container. Give me that missile. Give me that missile. Missile. Miss Missile. There we go. Got the missile. Okay, back up. That pirate just really wanted to run into Samus. the security drone got that missile this way boom go around the corner one of the more interesting things about the visor is that it does help you also find doorways that are otherwise between walls not very useful but useful Oh, we're now in an okay room. So if it wasn't obvious by now, there are the space pirates start using their cloaking devices. You cannot lock on to them. You can still kind of see them. But now you need to use thermal visors to attack space pirates. Either that or you just get really, really good at aiming. Just like nobody wants to come play. Oh, uh, you missed. 
You missed one boss, and that's Shigoth. It's able to see them when they're using their cloaking devices. We're just gonna super vaporize him. And him. Oh, I missed. There we go. Okay. So coming on out of the base pirate base. First thing we're gonna do is open this. I was gonna say how many dark rooms are there. There's not a lot. Thermal oh. So the thermal visor is used for more than just dark rooms. As you can see, or I mentioned earlier when you just got here that this door was completely closed off. You couldn't actually enter it. You need the thermal visor to find the power conduit so that you can give power to the door so that you can activate and go through it. There's a lot more variety that goes into the thermal visor. One of Nintendo's philosophy is that the item has to do more than one thing. Super missiles are used as an attack, but they also are used as a puzzle solver for cordite materials. Power bombs are the same way with Vendesium. Um, the only time an item is used for only one thing is if it's optional. And we'll be getting those optional items later. Do, 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 do. And that's it for the stream. So thank you, WJT, for joining today. Thank you, Swag, for also being here and trying to get WJT in sooner. To next week, we're going to be going into this big dome room. I was hoping to have gotten here today. Because this is a big boss. Um, but it's unfortunately not going to happen. That boss takes like 10 minutes and we're already 15 minutes over the timer. Before we go into this room, I think I am going to backtrack. Hmm. Do I want to? Because immediately after this is a check. It's kind of like that point where you're expected to go back to new areas and explore with your new range of weaponry. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll come to a decision next week. Uh, but next week we are going to come here. I'm not going to read those because we're not a sponsored stream. <laughs> you know I can just pixelate your conversation. <laughs> Anyways, next week we'll be coming to defeat Thardis and get the spider ball. This will give Swag time to catch up, and if he really needs to, he can utilize the stream to see what's going on. Next week, we're coming here. If you want to follow me on YouTube, the link is down below. If you want to watch the stream live, I do Metroid Prime every Wednesday, and I do Super Mario Galaxy on Sundays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm getting distracted. You're distracting me. I'm trying to do my sign off. Uh, we have caught all the, um, 
scans up to this point and I do have a scan book uh, in my production Derez plays binder in the back so I'll make sure that I highlight those so that I know what I found and what I need to find uh, I think that's it so on Sunday we come back to play more Mario Super Mario Galaxy um, yeah we will see you on Sunday. Bye WJT. And bye everyone.